You've probably seen those incredible cinematic AI videos flooding social media, the ones that look like they're straight out of Hollywood. But when you try to create them yourself, you end up with something that looks more like a PowerPoint presentation than a movie scene. Here's the thing, Google's VO3 has completely changed the game for AI filmmaking. It can generate cinematic quality videos with realistic sound effects and character voices. It's a parasite. All in one platform, but most people are using it completely wrong. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create professional looking cinematic AI videos videos using VO3, and I'll reveal the specific prompting techniques that separate amateur looking clips from Hollywood quality results. Let's get into it. First, you need to access VO3. I'm actually using OpenArt to access Google VO, since it's very easy to do, and it also gives me access to other video models. If you want to follow along, there's a link in the description below. Once you're logged in, you'll see the main dashboard with various AI tools available. Look for the video generation section. You'll find VO3 listed among the video models right here. Click on it to get started. By the way, one of the great things about using OpenArt to access VO3 is that you can easily switch between different video models if you want to compare results. You might generate a scene with VO3, then try the same prompt with Kling or Cdance to see which gives you better results for your specific use case. Before you write a single prompt, you need to make sure you're using the right settings in OpenArt. In the model selection dropdown, choose VO3 with audio enabled. This model is the newest one and provides the best quality results. If you accidentally select VO2, your videos won't look nearly as good. I see people making this mistake all the time, and then they're surprised when their results look unprofessional. Set your video resolution to around 1080p, so we keep the quality sharp. We want to focus on quality over length while we're learning. Now comes the most important part, writing prompts that actually generate cinematic results. Most people write something like a cyberpunk detective in the rain and expect movie quality footage. Even though it came out pretty good, that's not how this works. Let me show you the difference with a cinematic prompt. A weathered cyberpunk detective with silver cybernetic implants along his jawline and temple. He wears a long black trench coat with glowing blue circuit patterns, walking through narrow alleyways of Neo Tokyo at night. Neon signs reflect in puddles of rain, casting purple and pink light across wet concrete. He speaks with a gravelly voice about the corruption in the city, cinematic film quality, moody atmospheric lighting. The second prompt gives VO3 everything it needs to create a cinematic scene specific visual details, environment, lighting, and even the emotional tone. Let's generate. Look at that. This city, Neo Tokyo, it's a parasite, feeding on the weak, growing fat on corruption. The lip sync is perfect, the facial expressions match the dialogue, and the overall quality looks like it could be from an actual Blade Runner film. One of VO3's most impressive features is its ability to generate consistent characters across different scenes. But you need to be extremely specific in your character descriptions. For our cowboy, I'm going to write down exactly how he looks. A rugged, weathered cowboy in his late 40s with a square jawline, high cheekbones, and deep-set hazel eyes framed by crow's feet. He has a strong brow, a slightly crooked nose from an old break and a neatly trimmed salt and pepper beard along his jaw and upper lip. His skin is suntanned with subtle freckles and faint scars, telling of years under the desert sun. He wears a wide-brimmed, dust-worn tan Stetson hat with a dark leather band tilted low for shade. His outfit consists of a sun-faded denim shirt with pearl snap buttons, a weathered brown suede vest, and a long duster coat of cracked dark leather that moves heavily with his frame. Around his neck is a faded red bandana, frayed at the edges. He wears straight-cut, slightly worn indigo jeans tucked into scuffed brown leather boots with metal spurs that gleam subtly. A thick, cracked leather gun belt sits low on his hips with a holstered revolver. His build is broad-shouldered, tall, and lean-muscled with a slightly bowed stance from years in the saddle. His overall style is gritty, cinematic realism with a touch of mythic western legend. Now when I generate a new scene with this character, using the same description in open art, I'll use the exact same character details. As you can see, he looks remarkably consistent across different scenes. The key is being detailed and specific about every visual element. VO3 gives you incredible control over camera movement, but you need to know how to prompt for it correctly. Let's create a dramatic establishing shot. I'm going to input this prompt into open art. A sweeping cinematic drone shot rising above this sprawling megacity of Neo Tokyo at sunset. The camera begins low between towering neon skyscrapers with holographic advertisements, then pulls back to reveal the massive cyberpunk metropolis stretching to the horizon. Flying cars stream 
continuously through the sky in organized traffic lanes, never disappearing, always flowing naturally like real traffic. The scene is bathed in golden hour light with deep shadows and cinematic film quality. The cars maintain smooth, believable motion, remaining visible as the drone ascends. Here's what's important, VO3 can be inconsistent. So sometimes you'll get a camera movement that doesn't match exactly what you asked for. That's normal. Just click generate again in open art if the result doesn't match what you asked for. Now let me show you a more advanced camera technique. I want to create a reveal shot, extreme close up on a gloved hand inserting a data chip into a neural interface port. The camera slowly pulls back to reveal a mysterious hacker with glowing purple eyes and intricate facial tattoos. Dark underground server room with cables and screens everywhere. Dramatic Cinematic reveal, cinematic film quality. The camera movement here is perfect. It creates tension with the close-up and then delivers the payoff with the reveal. Here's where most people go wrong. They try to cram too much action into a single prompt. VO3 works best with focused specific scenes rather than complex multi-action sequences. For example, if I prompt for a knight rides a horse, fights enemies, saves a villager, and runs across a bridge, the result is usually a mess. The AI tries to do too much and ends up creating something that doesn't make sense. Instead, break complex scenes into separate shots. For example, before creating two different scenes, I'm going to paste in a character description I have created for the night, and then I'm going to prompt, a knight spots a burning village in the distance, flames and smoke rising into the sky. And another prompt of him, inside the burning village, the knight walks past burning houses and sees a fallen banner. Embers drift through the smoky air as wood crackles. You can edit these together later for a much more professional result. Another common mistake is not describing the visual aesthetic you want. Compare these two prompts. Basic, a knight in a castle fighting a demon. Cinematic, a battle-scarred knight in heavy, weathered plate armor with scratch white and blue paint charges down a dimly lit castle corridor. Torches flicker with an ominous red glow as he raises his glowing longsword, rushing headlong at a horde of demonic beasts with jagged horns and blackened hides. Sparks fly from shattered braziers and broken sconces. He shouts commands to his fellow warriors as he leads the assault. Cinematic film quality, high contrast lighting. FOR THE KING! The difference in results is enormous. The second version looks like it belongs in an actual medieval movie. Think about the exact textures, materials, and atmosphere that you want in your videos. If you're creating a medieval scene, don't just say castle. Describe it as an ancient stone fortress with moss-covered walls and flickering torchlight casting dancing shadows. The camera slowly zooms out, revealing the full scale of the stone fortress in its entirety to get that authentic fantasy aesthetic. VO3 can handle multiple characters in the same scene, but you need to be strategic about it. When writing character interactions, provide the complete description of both characters. For example, a grizzled space marine captain with a mechanical arm and scarred face stands opposite an elegant alien diplomat with translucent blue skin and flowing silver robes. There are intense negotiations aboard a sleek starship bridge with holographic star maps floating between them. The marine speaks with authority while the alien responds with calculated grace. Cinematic film quality, dramatic lighting. We've honored the treaty. Your ships are encroaching on our territory. The Cathar see no borders, Captain. Only resources vital for our survival. The key is giving each character their complete description, so VO3 can render them consistently. As you may have noticed already, one of VO3's standout features is automatic sound generation. It creates weapon sounds, footsteps, environmental audio, 
all automatically based on your scene. However, voice control is limited, but VO3 aligns voices with characters' appearances. For example, an older, rugged character will have a deep, gravelly tone, while a younger one will sound different. Your prompts don't allow you to explicitly control the tone of voice. If you need precise voice control, you can generate the video in VO3 using open art and then refine the voice with a tool like Eleven Labs through speech to speech. Let me show you another example with a completely different genre. Here's how I prompt for a fantasy scene. A powerful sorceress with long silver hair and glowing amber eyes stands atop a mountain peak during a thunderstorm. She wears flowing dark purple robes with golden runes that pulse with magical energy. Lightning strikes around her as she raises her staff, channeling elemental magic. Ancient ruins are visible in the valley below. She speaks with confidence and authority. Cinematic film quality, dramatic storm lighting. By the ancient pacts, I command the skies. So now you know how to create cinematic AI videos with VO3 through open art. The difference between amateur and professional results comes down to how you write your prompts and structure your scenes. With VO3 accessed through open art, you can create Hollywood quality footage that would have cost thousands of dollars just a few years ago. Plus you get the convenience of having multiple AI video models all in one platform. If you want to start creating your own cinematic AI videos, check out open art using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.